We actually have a guy using it on an airplane in the gas application, in which I wish I did not know that information. <laughs> the liability, if we were solely selling to that, I think our insurance rates go way up. But they will work on gasoline, they'll pump gasoline, but at low pressures. Uh, the high pressure, they're not developed for it. We tried them, um, we didn't, just didn't pursue and perfecting that. So they will work on gasoline if you're transferring, pumping gas, but it's got to be low pressure, 15 pounds, or I think it's 15 PSI or lower. Yeah, and the reason that is gasoline just has no lubricity to it, and it's very hard on the internal components. Yes. I've seen it also with the, uh, we, we were working with Bigfoot uh, monster trucks and they were seeing that also. Yeah, I've, I've seen it on, um, I've actually heard some reports of that in the engine mounted filter on 6.7 liter power stroke. And a lot of that is the continual excessive heating of the diesel fuel and it's buildup of asphaltanes in the system. One of the things that I would do on our signature series, not on the industrial series, is I would put it uh, on the return line uh, of the fast uh, titanium, I would put a cooler. Um, that would help it. Um, be able to cover that cooler in the winter, uh, you know, if yeah. you're going to extreme cold weather, because that would help gel it up, which I don't think is good. But keeping it at a cooler temperature is much better. So I would look at putting a uh, cooler on the return line. That is absolutely incorrect uh, the fast system will mount just fine with the amp steps on basically whatever configuration you have you know what I'd like that chance Elon give us a call I'll give you my phone number and uh, some uh, funding um, up front and we will get it done for you <laughs>
let's just take a VP44 install. Okay, that's an older truck. You know, if it, everything goes straight, you're not talking about two hours, two and a half hours to install. Yeah. Right? But what if you have a rusted up bolt, uh, uh, bolt in your bed, or the tank's rusted, the, you know, the, the uh, quick disconnects on top of the tank are all corroded. Right. Murphy's Law can really step in and just throw it off. That's where, you know, if you're telling your wife, hey, I'm going to be done in an hour installing this, don't tell her that. Tell her five hours, okay? <laughs> Get done in an hour, and she's going to praise you, okay? <laughs> so that's a really loaded question. Rusted, rusted bolts, the installation, if you're taking a tank down, if you're taking a tank down with a full tank of fuel because the customer brought it in with a full tank, or an eighth of a tank. Well, that's a great question. So uh, typically, the service interval, what we recommend is 20 to 30,000 miles, depending on fuel quality. Now, if you have a fuel pressure gauge. That's the best. That is the best. And you'll start to see a pressure drop. Not a flow pro. Not a, not a <laughs> yeah, not a uh, uh, glow shift. A glow shift. One of those okay. glow shift, not one of those, a good fuel pressure gauge. You'll start to see some pressure drop as your filters begin to plug. And that's a good indicator. Just go ahead and swap them out. And then, but you know, if you're going to go by our intervals, go by our intervals. But you know, usually, also if you run in a bad dose of fuel, you'll get a hint by your power loss mm -hmm. that that filter is starting to plug. And listen to it. If you get a hint and it feels like you're losing power, that's another one. But a, a good, good uh, fuel pressure gauge is the best way to go. Absolutely. And it's another thing, it's always a very good idea, even if you're before the service interval, when we're getting into these colder temperatures and weather's coming, yes. it's a good idea to go ahead and swap on a new set of filters. What I would recommend doing is going to our website and you'll be able to select the engine you have in your semi and your horsepower level. And that's going to direct you to the proper flow rate of industrial series system because it does matter what engine, whether it's a Caterpillar, whether it's a Packard, a DD15, the flow rates can vary across those applications. So again, just check out our website and we'll give you the proper recommendation for the system. Excellent question because, you know, I travel with my family a lot. I've been in whiteouts, I've been in all of those situations and I would not want to be on the side of the road gelled up, and I don't like adding additives to cut my fuel uh, lubricity down. So what I would do is I would put the disc heater on on the suction side, and then I'd also do a probe heater on, on the um, uh, pressure side also. But please listen to this. What I would do is take those and have it triggered off of your lights. So that way you can go out in the morning, just flip your lights on, not your headlights, but your running lights, and let it heat up for three minutes and five minutes. That fuel, when it heats up that whole, th the canisters and everything, it's gonna start and that gauge will get shoot up just like it is in summertime. Yeah. And that truck will start excellent. The reason you put it on the lights, and this was not my idea as one of our customers, you put it on your light switch so you don't forget that you turned your heater on because if you leave it on, it will drain your battery dead. But when you get out, it'll go ding, 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 mm -hmm. and let you know. But that's what I did on my Duramax when I had it, and I did those tests back in the day. And I mean, it does an excellent job. And on my Duramax, it was not starting. I had all kinds of fuel pressure, but the cascade valve wasn't opening at the airport. Well, I finally got it started and went back. That's why I doubled up on the system, on the heaters. It put enough heat up, up the line, to actually open up the cascade valve and we did that multiple times to see if that's what the fix was, and it was. So that's why I would let it heat up like that, and that you'll, you'll love it. Excellent set of questions, don't you think? It definitely was, and please keep these questions coming. We enjoy answering them. Appreciate it, it makes us sharper also. 